the article titled Assessment of Toxic Effects of the Endocrine Disruptor Bisphenol A on Zebrafish Danurario, a Vertebrate System. Coming to the abstract, Bisphenol A is considered to be one of the important component of plastics. Bisphenol A is regarded to be an endocrine disruptor, thereby interfering with the production, secretion, transport, action, function and elimination of natural hormones. In the present study, the toxic effects of BPA was assessed on mature adult zebrafishes and young fragile embryos. Zebrafishes were grown in reverse osmosis water containing known concentration of BPA ranging from 0 0.01 molar to 0.1 molar. After spawning, the young fragile embryos were also subjected to bisphenol A treatment, the result of which was mortality of the adult fishes and the young embryos. The toxicity of the same was determined in vivo by measuring the acetylcholine esterase activity in the brain tissue of zebrafish. The results projected a very high acetylcholine activity indicating neurotransmission obstruction and mortality of zebrafishes. Coming to the introduction and the review. Globalization and commercialization has enrooted luxurious development amidst society. This has led to large scale use of plastics and in turn bisphenol A, that is BPA. The use of plastic in packaging industry and household goods has stabilized bisphenol A content on planet Earth. Biodegradation, of course, releases bisphenol A to the environment. Many studies of consumer products identified sources of human exposures, including plastics, dental sealants, food contact papers, and canned foods. I've also given you the references made in the above statements. The highest amounts of BPA is reported in landfill leachate and pulp mill effluents up to 17 milligram per liter. In surface waters, low concentration of bisphenol are found. Bisphenol A has been detected in river and marine sediments. Again, the references made with the three statements have been given below. Bioremediation helps in cleaning up the natural ecosystem and maintains a homeostatic balance. It was observed that Pistia stratiotes has the ability to phytoremediate BPA from water. It is not just this one plant. There are a lot of other plants, but this is given under my reference. BPA levels, if left unmonitored, will make its entry into the food chain of human beings and other life forms. And it behaves as an endocrine disruptor, causing chromosome damage and also influences the biochemical mechanisms pertaining obesity. Coming to the need and objective of the study. Bisphenol A affects plants and animals, which makes ecological imbalance in the environment by changing its behavior and morphology. Focusing on the wide usage of bisphenol A, the objective of the study was to evaluate the toxic effects of BPA on zebrafish a vertebrate system. Materials and methods. Preparation of BPA solution. Bisphenol A is a colorless solid which is poorly soluble in water. Hence, one molar sodium hydroxide was used to dissolve BPA. NaOH was added dropwise until BPA dissolved and the homogeneous solution was made up to 100 ml using distilled water. Known concentrations of 0 0.01 molar, 0 0.02 molar, 0 0.04 molar, 0.06 molar, 0.08, and 
0.1 molar of BPA were prepared accordingly. Coming to the second materials and methods, zebrafish analysis. Breeding variety of zebrafishes were procured from aquarium shops and grown in small tanks. The tanks were well aerated and also fit with a sieve below to trap the eggs after early morning spawning. Eggs were taken into small glass petri plates containing reverse osmosis water and the water samples containing various known concentrations of BPA to determine heartbeat count, morphological changes and to assess acetylcholine esterase activity. Assay for acetylcholine esterase activity. Male adult zebra fishes were grown in reverse osmosis water which was kept as a control water sample and then in the water sample with different known concentrations of BPA. These fishes were euthanized to dissect the brain cells and the brain cells were homogenized at 4 degrees centigrade with phosphate buffer. The homogenate was subjected to centrifugation and the supernatant was taken as the enzyme source. 20 times dilution of the supernatant were prepared and then the enzyme activity was estimated by titration method. Acetylcholine iodide and sodium hydroxide were used as the reagents with phenophthalin as the indicator. Now coming to the results and discussion. If you look at this table one, it indicates the heartbeat count recorded in zebrafish embryos exposed to various known concentrations of BPA. The first sample says control, that is with no amount of BPA, wherein 146 heartbeats per minute was recorded. When it came to sample one, that is 0 0.01 uh, till sample six, with different known concentrations, the young fragile embryos were dead and there, was, there were no heartbeat counts seen in the developing embryo. The table two is indicating acetylcholine esterase activity from the brain cells of zebrafish treated with various concentrations of bisphenol A. And this table was recorded only after the titration process. And if you see the sample one that is control 1.834 micromoles per minute of acetylcholine was released. When, whereas sample one, 4.543, that was the acetylcholine esterase, there was a drastic increase in the activity of acetylcholine esterase activity. When compared to the sample six, 4.843 micromoles per minute was observed, which says the acetylcholine esterase activity was drastically very high. The morphological changes and the heartbeat count was unable to be recorded. Young fragile embryos immediately died when exposed to the water samples containing different concentrations of BPA. 146 heartbeats per minute was recorded in the control water sample. Acetylcholine esterase was found to be very high, which is an indication that acetylcholine was degraded at a faster rate. These results indicate that neurotransmission is hampered because of alkaline water samples with BPA as one of the pollutant. Stress in neurotransmission leads to loss of metabolism, tremors, changes in body weight, stiffness, and many other diseases. These are a few pictures, figure one, showing zebrafish embryos grown in reverse osmosis water. Figure two, showing fully developed embryo observed at 10x magnification in control water sample. So this was used to record the heartbeat samples. The conclusion, present investigation reports Alkaline waters can easily dissolve BPA and other components of plastic. 
acetylcholine esterase activity from different fishes exposed to different concentrations of BPA showed a very high enzyme activity, suggesting BPA to be a neurotransmission disruptor and also an endocrine disruptor. Highlighting the toxicity of BPA on a vertebrate model like zebrafish is an indication that BPA can cause harmful effects such as hampering, neurotransmission, morphological change and reduced heartbeat resulting in death. The same effects would be observed in higher life forms, including human beings when exposed to BPA. Experimental studies showcase the effects of alkaline water and BPA reduction. Recycling and reusing plastics would bring down the use of bisphenol A. Awareness amidst the society should be created about the effects of BPA and preventive methods should be employed to cut down the use of plastics and in turn BPA. Natural methods like phytoremediation and microbial remediation should be implemented to remediate and reduce BPA from water and soil. These are a few references for the research article and acknowledgements. I should be firstly acknowledging my own department that is the Department of Life Sciences at Jane Dean to be University, Bangalore, India, the Department of Botany, St. Joseph's College of Arts and Science, Bangalore, India, and International Journal of Science and Research who has given us the opportunity for this electronic media presentation of the paper ID titled ART 2017-6129, which was published in the year 2017, volume 6, issue 8.